you. Flood victims are receiving help from nonprofits and state agencies after historic flooding. Hundreds of families made their way to Friendly Temple Church in North St. Louis. Fox News' Allery Thomas has the story. People I've been talking with say this is not going to be a fast process, so expect to be out here for several hours, but you are going to have a lot of different nonprofits that are here to help you and assist in any way that they can. It can be confusing knowing where to turn for help after historic flooding. This was step one. Uh, what to do with my basement, what to do with my sump pump, what to do with my roof, all that. But they had the information here. Disaster relief all under one roof from assistance with home repairs, help with cleaning out mud from the flood, and meeting with caseworkers. To just kind of uh, lead them through the process. First off, how, where, were, where were you at? Let's, let's verify your address, then let's verify that you live there, then let's verify how much damage you had, and then that, they're able to lead them down which road they need to go down for, for that assistance. Terry Castle is Missouri's Deputy Director for State Emergency Management Agency. He says they're seeing an average of 800 people at each event. We think we're about to get to where the, the amount of houses, the homes that were uh, affected, we're about to get to that. So hopefully we're going to get to the top of the hill and start down the other side. Darlene Edwards' advice is to be patient and expect to wait several hours. But it was so much water. I, I, I'm in the learning process just like they are to come down here and help us out. Now, all of these nonprofits and organizations are going to be back out here on Tuesday starting at 9 a.m. They'll be here from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday trying to help more families in need. In St. Louis, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.